So before you actually do your project, you should go to the, the website of the science fair that you plan to participate in and fill out the required forms. A lot of forms are supposed to be signed and dated before you start your experimenting. And the reason they do this is they want to make sure that your procedure is safe. So they're having um, your teacher or your parent sign these papers to make sure that you're not going to hurt yourself. If there's any type of um, human subjects that are being used or if there's any type of animals or electrical, there are special forms that you have to fill out. So you need to make sure and read the rules and read the paperwork for your science fair and make sure you um, have the proper approvals before you be begin experimenting. So again, if you have human subjects or animals, there are special forms you fill out and you're going to have to go through what's called an institutional review board. It's not that bad. It's just basically having a science teacher, a nurse or a doctor, or a vet if it's animals, and um, a school administrator read through your paperwork and sign it and say, you know, everything's fine. You're not going to be hurting your subjects. If you are a homeschool student, you can use a co-op leader to sign as a school administrator, and that's perfectly fine. If um, you are using any kind of electrical or equipment that may be dangerous, you will have to go through a scientific review committee and have prior approval before, before doing your project. So make sure you read those, the, the forms. They're simple. There's usually a couple forms that you have to fill out for most projects. Fill them out before. Have your, your teacher um, and your parents sign them and make sure you're safe.